So Lauren, it's just as important to breathe through the nose during rest. It's also very important to breathe through the nose during physical exercise. And I know you have a little bit of a head cold, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we're going to have you do jogging, walking with your mouth closed, breathing in and out through the nose with your mouth closed. And the reason that we use the tape is as well, we want to ensure that the child is able to, you know, continuously have a reminder there to keep their lips together, even during walking, even during jogging. Okay, so let's start. So we're going to do one minute of walking with the mouth closed, one minute of light jogging, one minute of walking, one minute of light jogging, one minute of walking. Is that okay? Yeah. Excellent. So because while it's just as important to teach really good breathing habits during rest, we also want to teach those same habits during physical exercise. So are we ready? So one minute walking, starting from now. So you're simply breathing in and out through your nose and you're walking with your mouth closed and your tongue on the roof of the mouth and also to look ahead, Lauren, looking ahead. That's it. So you're breathing in and out through your nose. Excellent, keep going. In and out through your nose. Chest will be still, tongue resting in the roof of the mouth and looking ahead the entire time. So we have 40 seconds left. That's it. So when you're on your bicycle as well, it's breathing in and out through the nose. And when you're on your scooter, trampoline. When you're playing with your friends, you're breathing in and out through your nose. When you're in the schoolyard, breathing in and out through the nose. In actual fact, you know what? It's pretty much all about breathing in and out through the nose, isn't it? Because what is our mouth for? But our mouth is for? Breathing. He... Oh, no, I can't <laughs> okay, and to keep going. Keep going. So keep breathing in and out through the nose. Keep breathing in and out through the nose because effectively what is our mouth for? Our mouth is for eating, for drinking and for talking. And our nose is for smelling and breathing. Excellent. And now we're going to go into a jog for one minute. So now jogging for one minute. And you're just gently jogging, breathing in and out through the nose. And this shows you that your nose is functional. You know, even during physical exercise, you can jog with your mouth closed. So there's no reason to have the mouth open. So it is normal. The nose is a smaller entry to the mouth. And as a result, you'll feel air hunger for 30 seconds left. So you're breathing in and out through the nose, continuously breathing in and out through the nose. And we want your tongue resting in the roof of the mouth. That's it, good girl. And another 15 seconds left. Good girl, keep going, breathing in and out through the nose. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, and hopefully I don't make you dizzy. And now five, four, three, two, one, down to a walk. Excellent, and walking with your mouth closed. So now you're walking with your mouth closed, just to recover. Walking with the mouth closed, breathing in and out through the nose. Because what we want to do is we want to show the boys and girls out there, regardless of what country they are in, in the world, regardless of where we live, it's vitally important that as human beings, we realize that our nose is for, what do we do with our nose? Breathing. Breathing and smelling. And our mouth is for? Eating, eating talking, talking. And drinking. Excellent. So our nose is for smelling and breathing. So you're breathing in and out through your nose in the schoolyard, walking to school, no matter what you're doing. If you're outside in the countryside, looking at the beautiful scenery, that you are breathing in and out through the nose and to look ahead as well. Look ahead, good girl. So you're always walking up straight, imagining that there's a piece of string pulling you upwards towards the ceiling and looking ahead and now into a jog. So now jogging with your mouth closed for one minute. Excellent, and to keep it up. Good girl, great stuff, well done, keep going. And jog at a, jog at a pace that you can sustain nasal breathing. So continue jogging at a pace that you can sustain nasal breathing, that you're breathing in and out through the nose. Great stuff. And gently breathing in and out through the nose because the more we use the nose, the better it works for us. So when we first start doing our physical exercise with the mouth closed, it's a little bit more difficult because we feel our hunger. But this is the time not to change to mouth breathing. It's really important that we continue breathing through the nose and what happens is it gets easier with practice. 15 seconds left. So it's a little bit challenging now at the moment, 
but the more you practice breathing through the nose, the easier it gets because the nose is simply made for breathing and the mouth is not made for breathing. And back down to a walk. So yeah, so when you see Muffin running, and Muffin of course is a dog, he has the mouth open. And Noodles, who also is a dog, has the mouth open. But we as human beings, we should have our mouths closed. Yeah, so, and do you think, is there any other animal that you can think of that breathes in and out through the mouth? A cat, some of them do, yeah, but generally, though, does Buddy have the mouth open? Mm. No. And does Elsa have the mouth open? Yeah. No. So we have two cats, and they both breathe through their noses. And the cockerel and the hens, were they nose breathers or mouth breathers? Nose breathers. They were all nose breathers. So the only, of all the animals we have out here, and there's lots of animals around mm -hmm. us, isn't there? Yeah. Only two are going around with the mouth open. Muffin and noodles, yeah? And we kind of let them because they're two dogs. Yeah. Okay, so now back to a jog again. So you're jogging with the mouth closed. Good girl, keep going. Excellent stuff, keep going. And jogging with the mouth closed, always remembering. Tongue resting in the roof of the mouth, lips together in and out through the nose. And the beauty about the tape is that the more we practice nasal breathing, the better it works. So we need the children wearing the tape for between 30 minutes and 60 minutes and even as even as much as 90 minutes per day and also during sleep this tape is very suitable for most children but do get your doctor's permission because even you know of course don't wear the tape if the child is at risk of vomiting or anything like that it's about having the lips together but if the child does have to open them out they can easily do it as we see with lauren we're able to communicate even with the tape on and back down to a walk. Excellent, and now quiet breathing because good breathing is in and out through the nose and during rest, okay, even though you're doing a little bit of physical exercise, we're gonna try and get quiet breathing. So really quiet breathing. Light breathing is better. Light breathing is efficient. And somebody who's breathing so noisily, that's what we want to change. So well done. So that's that exercise there. So walking and jogging, it's all about breathing in and out through the nose. Excellent.